Number 77, letter A. Calculate the minimum frequency of ultrasound that will allow you to see details as small as 0.25 millimeters in human tissue. All right, so basically, um, the the precision in which we can identify human tissue, the distance is basically equivalent to the wavelength of the wave, okay, of the ultrasound wave. So I know then the, that the wavelength here is going to be 0 0.250 millimeters. But we know we need that in meters, right? So just take that and divide it by 1,000, or aka it's going to be 0 0.000250 meters, all right? And you can convert that into scientific, right? That would basically be 1, 2, 3, 4. So this would basically be uh, 2.5 times 10 to the minus fourth meters. Okay, that's basically the wavelength. And now um, we need to know also the average speed. So we can assume it changes because the tissue, human tissue, well, what human tissue? Bone, fat, blood, right? Uh, it all depends. Um, so basically uh, what we need to then identify is going to be the average. So I'm just going to make up, not make it up, I mean, I am making it up, but, you know, the numbers are around 1,500. So let's just use that the velocity of the ultrasound here is about 1,500 meters per second, okay, on average. So in order then to find the frequency, if you know the wavelength and the velocity, how do you find frequency? Well, you know that the velocity of a wave, right? So let me just move this out of the way. You know that the velocity of a wave is equal to the frequency multiplied by the wavelength. So that's 1,500 meters per second. That's equal to the frequency divided then by the wavelength, which is going to be 2.5 times 10 to the minus fourth. And now here we just plug it in. So this is about 1,500 divided by then 2.5 times 10 to the minus fourth. And we get about six, what is that? Six million, okay? Or in other words, 6.0 times 10 to the uh, sixth, right? Yeah, hertz. Okay, so that's the frequency. That takes care of the first part, that's letter A. And then letter B now, what is B asking? It says, what is the effective depth to which this sound is effective? All right, so a general rule of thumb is going to be that you can take the wavelength and multiply by 500, and that's basically the max depth. So max, I'll put a little D for depth, is gonna be 500 multiplied by the wavelength. So in this problem, the wavelength here is gonna be six, oops, 2.5 times 10 to the minus fourth, and then just simply do that. So 500 times 2.5 times 10 to the minus fourth. So maximum depth here, depth here is going to be, well, that's what I feel like, death, right? Point, <laughs> point uh, one, two, five meters. Okay, appropriate. So there we go. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Take care.